Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sitting down and talking about all of my January 2020 monthly favorites. So I have a couple products sitting right here beside me um, and they're not all necessarily new products. A couple of them are or ones that I've just been trying um, or that I got last month like but it was like not enough time to put them in the December one. I'm just gonna sit down. I'm gonna talk about them. We're gonna chat a little bit. I like to do these every month but sometimes I just don't get to try a lot of stuff just because I'm too busy or just didn't get to really try a lot. Before I moved on and put on my glasses so I can read everything, I wanted to show you all this really cool look. It's a collab look that I'm in. So go check it out. It's coming in the first week of February. So yeah, if you want to see my February monthly favorites, then just keep on watching. I hope that you enjoy and I hope that you will stay and subscribe before we move on. So now I have my vision back and let's go ahead and talk about some of my January 2020 monthly favorites. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is the Petite and Pretty Fully Feathered Volumizing Mascara. So I am going to throw up a picture just because you can't see it on my eyes right now. I did get it in my January 2020 BoxyCharm, um, first boxy charm of the year but i feel like boxycharm has like stepped the game up the products that i got this month were like literally so good so this is the petite and pretty fully feathered volumizing mascara and it's literally so good i don't know if it's a mini or not but it's literally like so stunning so cute the packaging is cute and it wears really really nicely um it isn't like clumpy it doesn't like make my lashes look weird um, and I'd say it lasts a long time. So yeah, I definitely had to mention this because it's like really nice. And I got so many compliments while wearing it. So I was like, girl, yes. The next thing, I don't know if I mentioned it in my December monthly favorites. If I did, I'll try it and link it up here. But I wanted to mention it just in case. But this is the Milk Makeup Flex Foundation and I'm in the shade Fair. Um, it is a tad bit dark for my skin. Um, but I say it works pretty good. It does have a little yellow undertone. But I can make it work and especially in in the springtime i'm gonna get a ton of use out of this because it is on the more dewy side which i don't really like matte foundations anymore i definitely like a more dewy so this is definitely up my alley um but the coverage is buildable so around my problem areas like down here i can just go over a second layer and then it's like full coverage well i don't know if i'd say full coverage like medium to full maybe medium to full but i really really like it and it leaves my skin looking flawless the next thing i definitely had to talk about because when i tried it for the first time in my january boxy charm i was like hold up what is going on because from this brand i have had eyeshadows that i haven't liked and i've had some that i've like loved so i knew this palette was going to be like a hit or miss but this is the ace beauté scarlet dust palette i definitely want to do a three looks one palette asap so be expecting that in february uh, hopefully i can squeeze it in but this is what the palette looks like and i know i was kind of like confused why it was in boxycharm because it just released like on their site like regularly like just like a couple months ago and i was like wait um, so I was a little sketched out about that, but the formula of these shadows are literally amazing. We'll swatch two of them for you. So this is Aruba, Aruba, I think that's how you say it. And this is Bahama. So I just wanted to swatch those two for you because they're literally so stunning. Uh, but they blend amazing. They're pigmented. They're not blotchy. They don't get weird like the Slice of Paradise palette does, and it's literally amazing. Now, y'all know that I love the Ace Beauté Oceanic palette, and this is still a very, very nice palette. I still love it. The size difference is like, let's see, let's hold them up together. This is the Scarlet Dust. This is the Oceanic. A eh, little bit, but I like the smaller packaging. I'm, I'm like here for that. Y'all, these lashes gotta go. They're poking me in the eye. So excuse me while I take them off. Next product that I want to talk about is the Milk Makeup cooling water stick now i did get this as a gift from one of my favorite youtubers ever she sent over a very nice care package and i was just like girl like i was literally about to cry um but i have been loving to use this like right before my makeup really before i apply anything i'll just like put this under my eyes on my eyelid and just kind of like all over where like i'm a little like dry i would say and it literally feels amazing um it's just the blue stick from them and i had never tried anything from milk makeup so i was like a little like whoa oh my god i get to try a brand and i definitely wanted to try them in 2020 their stuff is just a little pricey for me but i love that product and i definitely had to mention i just feel it leaves the skin so hydrated so nice so cooling and the cooling effect it really helps my eyes when i have like eye headaches i've noticed i mean it's not like obviously a cure or anything i just know that it definitely helps relieve the pressure and like pain in my eyes when i have like an eye headache if you've had an eye headache, you know what I mean, um, but yeah. Now, this product necessarily isn't new because I've talked about it, but this is the e.l.f. Cosmetics 16-Hour Camo Concealer. 
but it is very, very dark, I know. It's in the shade Deep Chestnut. Now y'all know that I love the 16 hour camo concealer just in the right shade. I'm in the shade, wait, let me look like, get it out because I changed shades because I noticed that the other one was too light. But this is light peach. But y'all know that I love this concealer like for my under eyes. But I've been wanting to cream contour like a new cream contour. And I went ahead and picked up a deeper shade and I definitely love this. Blends out amazing. It's not like super dewy, but it's not like super matte. It's like the perfect formula and I love it. So if you're looking to like cream contour and you want something definitely get this because like I was saying blends out perfect it doesn't like stick to your face it's not like overly matte where you can't blend it out but it's not like so dewy that it like goes everywhere I don't know I've just really loved it and I've noticed that my skin looks flawless and very bronzy but also blushy is that a word blushy probably not it looks blushed there we go next product that i want to mention is just a face cream palette so i got this one off of amazon i believe it was around 20 i don't know if it was 20 10 to 20 dollars i know but this one has literally been a lifesaver when i've wanted to do like cream products like for designs or for the face i've always reached for this palette and i've gotten so much use out of it it's literally been a lifesaver when i really wanted to do creative looks i don't know if you saw in my eyes i like take my glasses off the like orange like going down that is from this palette that makes the red and yellow together and I wouldn't have been able to do that unless I had this palette so very thankful that I have it because it's literally been a lifesaver and it also came with like these artist brushes but I know that they have a set that has these and a set that doesn't and I know that I needed some more but it has some really defined eyeliner brushes that I definitely needed um so I went ahead and got the set that came with it and it's literally been amazing they're really good quality um if I have a chance and I remember the link I'll go ahead and put it in the description so if if you want to check out these two together check it out so the next product is actually a primer and this one is the cover effects blurring primer now i'm pretty sure that i've talked about this a couple times but my skin kind of goes in waves i feel like everyone's does where your skin gets like really porous and it like just doesn't look good and regular primer just isn't working so i definitely had to pull out the blurring primer because i felt like this has definitely helped my skin in the past so i just take a little bit and massage it into like my cheek area right here and it definitely helps make my skin look very flawless because without it it doesn't um so yeah you wouldn't really be able to tell but my nose is very very porous um, but with this on it, it doesn't look like that. So I'm kind of like shook a little bit. The next product is actually a liquid lipstick. Now I did talk about this in my liquid lipstick collection and declutter that went up on Tuesday. So if you want to see it, it'll be linked in the description. Um, but this is the Menagerie Cosmetics Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. So there's a couple of reasons that I like this. Obviously the color and the formula. So it is a very nice rosy color. I'll turn around so you can see the packaging. But yeah, it's a very nice rosy color and I love it. And I feel like it goes with everything just because it's like a natural shade and it doesn't like overpower the eyes another reason that i like it is just because of the sleek packaging i feel like packaging that's like over like powering it's like uh, like it's kind of like a turn off um but i really love the sleek packaging and it has like little fox on it and just like so sleek but yet so amazing wow this is going by so fast like i don't have that many more products to talk about but the next one i think i've talked about but this is the ColourPop stick blush and i got the shade 25 8 the packaging has kind of rubbed off so like i don't know like what's going on with that but i love the formula of this because it's literally so dewy i'm gonna swatch it for you right beside the foundation i definitely want to pick up a new color just because that is very very it's leaning more orange than like rosy pink what i want but i do love the formula it is a little more like dewy it leaves my skin looking amazing um i don't like to put a lot of matte products i feel like the blurring primer is literally the only thing obviously powder but you know what i mean um but i love to put this over top of my cream bronzer it blends in so nicely and that is what i have going on today i haven't been putting on powder bronzer and i feel like it just looks so amazing and natural so yeah definitely wanted to mention this just because i love it so much and i'm pretty sure these are like super cheap so go snag one if you've been wanting one okay i'm pretty sure that this is the last product and it is another eyeshadow palette if you watch my three looks on palette with the pinky rose obsessed palette you would know go watch it i'll link it up here if you haven't but yeah i definitely had to put this in here because i had such a fun time playing with it and just being really creative with my looks but this is the pinky rose cosmetics obsessed palette so with some christmas money i went ahead and snagged these up while they were having an end of year sale and i'm just literally so glad that i picked it up i have yet to play with the exotic peacock i know i need to get on it but yeah, definitely wanted to put this in here because it's literally such a stunning palette. And I did so many creative looks with it and I literally am obsessed with it. Literally amazing. Love the formula. I will swap the two in there that are my favorites. Um, Fresh and then Pigment, the red. 
just these two. Ooh, oh, wow. Look at that pigment. Okay, that's all the makeup. Now, I do have a few things that I want to talk about, just like lifestyle and like movie. I know that I didn't mention it in my December video. I didn't really have any then, but now I have some. So, last night, I watched the movie A Fall from Grace, and I definitely know that I'm going to be watching it again because it's literally such an awesome movie. It's on Netflix, and it literally just came out. It's by Tyler Perry. Um, so, if you have the chance to watch it, definitely watch it. It's literally chef's kiss. Amazing. Your nerves are going to be like a roller coaster, like up and down, up and down, and your jaw is literally going to drop to the floor. So definitely go watch it if you have the time. Literally amazing. Best movie of 2020 so far. I know that that many movies haven't came out, but I feel like it's almost his best movie, Tyler Perry's. Um, so yeah, I definitely had to mention it because I love it. Now I am going to scoot over here just so that I can throw up some pictures of me in this wig. But I definitely had to mention the platinum long blonde haired wig that I got um, around like after Christmas. But like I definitely had time to like try it out in December. Um, so yeah, I'm going to throw up some pictures of me wearing it. Literally obsessed with it. It was my very first wig. I've gotten one since then, but like I haven't been able to try it out with makeup on so i need to try it out a couple more times before i mention it but definitely love the wig it's literally amazing and i feel like it's like amazing i don't know i just love wearing it it brings out my inner diva and i just love it so i definitely had to mention it now i'm going to be playing a clip of me wearing a hoodie that i wanted to talk about and mention in this video so i'm gonna throw the clip in and then we will move on hello everyone so i'm actually filming in the past i know that this video is going to be going up soon um and i'm actually wearing the hoodie right now so i wanted to go ahead and talk about it so i am going to just put you over here so that i could show you the hoodie so this is the hoodie that i'm talking about the geek calm and that's the real tea and on the back of it which i'll try to show you it says crystals angels i don't know if you can see it um but yeah so i wanted to talk about the hoodie while i actually have it on because i feel like that's the best way so this hoodie has literally been my favorite i ordered it before christmas that it was a christmas present so i had a I, I couldn't wear it until Christmas. It's black and it's oversized. I got it oversized just so I could wear it like to bed or like over top of something. Um, and I literally kid you not, this is like, this hoodie keeps me so warm. In North Carolina, it's literally been like 19 degrees every day, 19 and below, which is ridiculous. But this hoodie has kept me warm, which I really, really like. And it's literally so comfortable. So yeah, now let's move on to the rest of the video. I feel like that's all that I need to talk about. I don't really have that much new stuff to talk about. I feel like I've definitely cut back on buying new makeup. I just wanted to use up my collection that I have. Seeing a lot of Shop My Sash videos and collection videos has definitely helped me realize like what kind of collection that I have and that I won't. Getting rid of all those like lipsticks was amazing, kind of like spoiler alert, um, because now I have so much more that I can like buy if, if I won't. Um, because I know like what I have and what I don't have in my collection. But I thank you so much for watching this video. I know that it was kind of short, honestly, um, because I just like wanted to get to the point. Um, but yeah, this month was literally amazing. It definitely had some ups and downs. The new year started off absolutely crazy. Oh my God, Lord Jesus. Um, but I got my license finally, um, which has been amazing. I did fail the first time. If you like, if I haven't talked about it on here, I know that I've talked about it on my Instagram. But yeah, I failed, but then I went back and got them. So I've been driving around all the time so if you're in reedsville um in north carolina stay off the roads girl um i warned you <laughs> just kidding i'm a very good driver i'm safe and i always go to see limit i literally cannot wait to see what 2020 has in store i definitely hope it's better than this month but you know everything happens for a reason so i'm just gonna stick with that if you enjoyed it and you liked some of the products that i talked about definitely let me know down in the comments don't forget to subscribe to my channel i post new videos every tuesday and friday and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you get notified every time i upload a new video if you want to follow me on all of my social medias they're all linked in the description always my instagram tiktok and twitter i don't know if i talked about it i'm pretty sure but a video of mine literally just went viral on tiktok it has like two point some million views i don't know what it'll have by the time this video goes up but it's like literally crazy oh my god absolutely crazy i went from like three thousand followers to like twelve thousand, and i was like girl <laughs> yeah that's all i have to say thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in my next one bye everyone Take care of you.